hi welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will be explaining to you how you can apply a particular color on particular element in revit using the dynamo this is the main node that we use in this regard element dot override color in view it takes the input of element and color and apply that color on that element here i have developed a little scheme where you can uh, get any parameter value and then arrange those values on the basis of different colors for example here i take the model element and get the parameter of mark the mark parameter of the model element in this particular model can have value ranging from 0.1 to 1.0 similarly you can uh, make this range as per your convenience uh, for example from 1.0 to 10 or any other values like that so here I compare the value of my parameter with the list that I create. If the value is less than 0.2, the color would be red. If the value is between 0.2 and 0.4, the color would be orange. Similarly, if the value is between 0.8 and 1.0, the color would be green. You can change any other color or go to advanced option to select uh, values. So here, first I get, uh, since this mathematical operation generates the value of false and true i get the index of uh, true which will provide me the first uh, index of the first true value uh, since the value that is uh, less than 0 0.6 would be less than 0 0.4 and less than 0 0.2 as well but uh, uh, i would be needing the uh, first index of uh, the true value and then get the item at index and apply that color to uh, override the elements. And now we will run the script uh, on the model and see how uh, the how the results are. First of all, here the graphic display option should be selected to shaded one so that the override the color override is visible to our uh, in our model i'll select the model element and run the script uh, and the color would be would display on basis on a uh, different uh, values of uh, parameter similarly if you want if you do not want to compare some uh, mark uh, with that particular list you can uh, use number slider as well uh, and that you can select the minimum and maximum range of this number slider since in our model we have from 0 to 1 so we can simply uh, use this number over here as an input and then we can uh, display we can just set this to automatic to see that how this wall behaves if I change the number slider I see that the color of wall changes automatically with regard to that so in this way uh, we can apply any particular color on any particular element of uh, this could be any other element as well for example if I select this particular door the color of that door would be uh, changing according to the values that I provide to that door 